Blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg and I plead, Lord, that you give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak. And I pray, Lord, that they be your words, not my words. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. I want to read you some scripture, Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. We as Christians need to separate ourselves from the sinful world. And we need to do this as soon as possible. So choose this day whom you will serve. Joshua 24 and 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve. Whether the gods of your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods, gods of the Amorites in whose land you now, you now dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Yes, God has much love for us, his creation, but God has a limit on just how much sin he will tolerate, and we have reached God's limit of sin. So now we will receive judgment, the wrath of God. So it is time to separate yourself from this world and stand with Jesus. In the past time, it is past time to get away from the pornography, from bars, drinking, cursing, taking the Lord's name in vain, watching inappropriate movies on and TV shows, or getting involved with other strange women or other strange men. Ask yourself, would Jesus approve what you're doing? If not, it's time to humble yourself sincerely and repent of sin and amend your ways and get in the will and the grace of Jesus Christ. Remember, Jesus is the only one who can save you, me, or anyone from what is coming upon this earth, and it's coming very soon. Today is the day to choose whom you will serve. Will you serve God or will you serve Satan? That is your choice and no one else can make that choice for you. Only you can choose. If you choose God and to serve Jesus Christ, then you must come out of this world and separate yourself from this world. Titus 2 and 14 Who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify us unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works. 1 Peter 2 and 9 But ye are a chosen generation, a royal, royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness and into his marvelous light. I will be that peculiar person unto Jesus Christ. It is past time for revival. It's time for a move of God to bring revival in these last days, to bring a last day's harvest, a latter day rain, if you will. It is time for a revival among the people and among the faithful, believing, Holy Spirit filled churches, even home churches. But there is no revival among the apostate churches. They may try to have revival, but God will not be there. Revival will be a, their revival will be a show and it will be a, a revival in vain and God will not be among them it is time for revival Acts 2 and 17 and it shall come to pass in the last days saith God I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams it is time for revival as this world crumbles down around our ankles we must stand strong in the faith, pray, repent of sin, and pray for revival. It is time to sincerely humble yourself before God and rededicate yourself to God. Remember, there is no saving from what is to come upon this dying world except through Jesus Christ. God owns the earth and he holds the title deed. He owns every mountain, every hill, every valley, every drop of water. He owns the air. He owns every blade of grass. Every stick, every twig, every bush, every tree, God owns it all. He holds the title deed. He even owns you and I because he made us. So yes, God has the right to destroy this earth and all the people in sin upon it. 
we are that last generation that Jesus spoke about in Matthew. <clears throat> and the end, <clears throat> excuse me, and the end is upon us. Can you not see the calamities that have come upon the earth? And there will be more. And just like birth pains, they will come stronger, faster, and much harder. But the people will still refuse to repent and change their ways. So the pain and suffering will get stronger and even more severe. So, it is too late to save America, but it, it is not too late to save your soul. Time is very short. I am asking, no, I am begging everyone to please pray for a latter day rain to pray for revival remember to carry your bible everywhere you can and say the blessing over every meal you eat because these last days is not the time to deny jesus in any way any shape any form bobby and i we pray for both we pray for you if you hear my voice we pray for you and i know that satan is attacking so many right now as satan knows that these are the last days and he knows that his time grows short so I would ask you all to remember to pray the blood of Jesus, to wash over you, to protect you from all sin and from all unclean spirits. And every time you feel you're being attacked, pray the blood of Jesus, that it will stop the satanic attacks. And I know this works because I've done this. Remember to pray for revival. God bless you. God keep you in yours in his loving arms, just like he held me. And I will spend the rest of my days on this earth working and praying to get back into the arms of Jesus, back where I belong, and where you belong also, with much love and more grace from above. Amen.